Hi, I'm Dan Dearden, founder of Just Right Heating and Cooling. So today I thought I'd talk to you about furnace filters. The first thing I think we should talk about is how often should you change them? If you're like most people, you probably have a one inch filter like this. It will generally last one to three months. One of the best ways for you to find out whether it's time to change it or not is take the air filter and hold it up to the light. You can see how dirty it is. You may also have a four inch filter such as a filter like this one. Four inch filters typically last six to 12 months. You could also have a professionally installed air filtration system such as a Novus Air and those filters last two to three years. Okay, let's talk about why you need a furnace filter. There really are two reasons. One is to keep dirt and junk out of your equipment. The other one is to clean the air, okay? So let's talk about the importance of keeping dirt and junk out of your system, okay? So this is a heat exchanger out of an air conditioning system, which is part of your heating and cooling system. And it has these fins inside here that the air goes through to cool your home. Well, if you don't have a good air filter, then these fins collect all the, this dirt and crap all over them. This is a blower wheel out of a furnace, and you can see there's a bunch of dirt collected on the blower motor itself, and so that dirt can get in there and, and plug up your motor and cause it to burn out, or the dirt can collect into the blower wheel itself and plug up your blower wheel and cause you to have a very energy efficient, inefficient system. <laughs> That's why it's important to have a good air filtration system is to keep the components of your furnace clean. The next uh, reason is of course to help clean the dust and pollens and things out of the air. So all of these filters actually do a pretty decent job of filtering. You wouldn't think that a, a cheap crappy fiberglass filter like this would really do a good job. If the job is just to keep the dirt and dust out of a furnace, it, it will do an adequate job. Um, some of the problems that we've, I've seen over the years as a technician is a customer will put in, say, a pleated filter like this because they want to clean the air, and that's the goal of this type of filter. This is a high-efficiency air filter to, to catch allergens out of the air, but it also restricts the airflow. And so somewhere you have to choose between air, good airflow filter and not such good air filtration or a pleated air filter that really catches a lot of the dirt but it also restricts the airflow. As a technician, many times I have just had to take a customer's restrictive air filter out and put a less restrictive air filter in to fix their cooling problem. So if your goal is to do more than just protect the equipment with an air filter and you'd actually like to clean the air, you're going to probably need to look at a professionally installed air filtration system. Uh, a filtration system such as that, that you can put a four inch filter into your uh, furnace. Um, this happens to be a high efficiency air filtration system you can see it's got all kinds of pleats, so it has huge surface area. It also has carbon impregnated on the back to help with odors. Um, this, well, just as an example, this filter probably catches about 20% of the particulate that's in the air. And we're talking about all the way down to that fine particulate known as PM30 or PM25, which is those itty bitty teeny little particles that get into your lungs and can cause you respiratory issues, okay? Um, this type of filter here will catch, oh, about 50 to 60 percent of the particulate that's in the air. This particular filter here will catch about 80 to 85 percent of the particulate that's in the air. If you really need like hospital grade air, you would need a system such as a, a Novus Air type air filtration system. It will catch 97 to 98 percent of all the particulate, even those itty bitty little particles that you can't see. When it gets right down to the brass tacks, what kind of air filtration system would I recommend? Well, I'd have to know a lot more about what you need, but if you're just looking to protect your equipment, um, I like a pleated filter. Um, I would, you can just go down to your local do-it-yourself center and get maybe a filter that's probably going to cost somewhere between 10 to 15, maybe $20. Uh, those provide a, a really good filtration for your average 
air filtration needs. If you've got allergies, uh, respiratory issues, asthma, anything like that, then you're going to need to have a professionally installed air filtration system. My favorite is the Novus Air. It will give you hospital grade air, but the really neat thing that, of course, I'm a technical guy, the thing that I really love about the Novus Air air filtration system is that it lets lots and lots of air flow going through while it's catching those itty bitty teeny weeny particles. Um, if, if that's not an option, then this is a, a healthy climate air filtration system. Um, it does a great job and still allows for good airflow. Hey, thanks for listening. This is Dan Dearden, founder of Just Right Heating and Cooling, where you're always just right. You're never too hot, you're never too cold.